to another Friday Night Soundbite from Andrews McNeil. I have to say this is now an unofficial test kitchen. Today we are bringing you apples for jam and one of my favorite recipes, the brownie recipe found on 315. You like brownies? Baked them myself. This brownie is yummy. It's the greatest brownie known to man. It's chewy. It's nutty. This brownie's really good. Okay, here's the brownie mixture all mixed up. Looking pretty good. Soft peas. Two baking pans prepped for the brownies. I used two squares because you'll, you'll see how this is built up. It works best that way. Chocolate, good. Egg whites. We need chopped pizza, so it's going to be a while. Brownie mixture in the pan. I already made the brownies. Here is square number one with a layer of strawberries on top. Then we take our whipped cream and layer that on top of the strawberries. And you have plenty of whipped cream, so you do not have to, let's just say, hold back brownies that we have waiting <laughs> to be whipped free. <laughs> okay, other square brownies. Layer that smack dab on top. Then, for more decadence, we take our strawberries. Oops. And again, um, these were just sliced fresh strawberries from the market. Decadence on top of decadence. Here we go. Ooh. We now have an entire tray of brownie cake. Brought to you from the Apples for Jam, page 315, brownie recipe. And like Natalie said, the best reason in the world to be happy besides brownies? Sandy Gingras. She's got it all down here. Title will be out in the fall. Look for it in your new fall catalog. Not only that, but all the reasons in the world to be cute. Just indulge yourself like you indulge yourself here. Everybody deserves a little indulgence, don't they? You'll get it from pure cute. And finally, because you're feeling so good after having your decadence, you can make a few little felties for some friends and spread the joy. Introducing to you not only our brownie decadence, but our decadent Natalie Alexander and Morgan Barrier. The two sales coordinators that keep everything in line in the book department at Andrews McMill Publishing. Without them, no samples. Without them, no catalogs. Without them, no fun stuff. Whenever you guys want help, they're your go-to girl. I do not have the swine flu. You can go ahead and wipe it down. Good stuff. They make this every night. 